Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to the Great Big Card Swap Showcase. This is part one for August, 2021. The theme this month is designer paper and look how many cards I've already gotten. I haven't had a chance to count, but it was so many cards that I decided it's time to break this showcase up and do it in two parts. So. Don't worry if you haven't sent in your card yet. It's not too late for August. If I receive your card by August 26th, I will show it in the next Great Big Card Swap Showcase. I am going to do two moving forward. I will do them uh, twice a month like every every two weeks essentially so don't worry it's not too late if you haven't sent in your card for august yet the theme is designer paper and you can send it to this address julie davison p.o box 6164 champaign illinois 61826 like I said, moving forward, we're going to do two showcases. So I'm going to jump in. Now, I was originally supposed to be live tonight, but I double booked myself. So I'm pre-recording this. And so I apologize so much that I won't be able to be live, but I promise I will read all of your comments. So I hope that you will give me some shout outs. Let me know when you see your card. Let me know when you see amazing cards that you love because these cards are so awesome. Every single month, I'm like, I just want to keep them all for myself. But that's not how this works. If you're new to the great big card swap, this is how it works. You send me a card. You include inside the card a return postage stamp. And then I show all the cards that I get. I mix them up and I send them back. <laughs> the dogs say, hey. So you send a card. You get one back. That's how it works. It's beautiful. I get lots of happy mail. Then I get to send you lots of happy mail. And one thing I would like to point out is that we leave the cards blank. That just means that we don't write inside. You can put, uh, you can stamp inside if you want, uh, but don't write inside. You can put it on a post-it note or a loose note. And that way, whoever gets the card can then reuse it and send it on to somebody else. And we just keep the happy mail chain going. I hope that you'll participate and send a card in for the great big card swap. Let's go ahead and dive in. The theme this month was designer paper, is designer paper. So if you're sending a card for August, the theme still is designer paper. By the way, the September theme, if you want to work ahead, is um fall, autumn, <laughs> autumn and fall, uh, whichever, whichever word you call it. Um, and what was I going to say? Oh, just make sure to write on the envelope if you're sending for September. Just make sure to write September on the envelope or the abbreviation just so I, that I know that it's not for this swap. If you don't write anything on the envelope, I will assume it is for the current swap. And by the way, I did receive two cards that were marked July um, and they I just received them this week, actually, both of them. So <laughs> well, I'm not sure when they were mailed, but they were well past the July date. So that's fine. If you if I get them late, I just roll them in to the next month and it's it's all good. There are not many rules when it comes to the great big card slot. The big one is re include a return stamp. Don't write inside. I think that's it. You don't have to use Stampin' Up! products. You can use retired stuff. This swap is open to everybody, whether you're a customer, a demonstrator, or just a paper crafter who loves stamping. Let's, let's dig in. Okay, I'm going to sit down to show you all these cards because there are a lot here. All right, I did try to group these by designer paper. And actually, the first bit does not, um, is, well... These are all newer designer papers, I will say. So this first card, uh, I'm not sure exactly which designer paper this is. I think, though, it is the new Beautifully Penned, which is available as a free celebration gift when you order $25 or more, $50 or more. The, the stamp set is the Delicate Dahlias, which is a free celebration gift choice when you order $100 or more. I love the beautiful color choices here. And do you see this polished pink shimmer vellum? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty and it's hard to tell, but it is embossed with a tufted embossing folder. It adds some beautiful texture. This beauty is by Julie Coles. Julie, thank you so much for including the pronunciation. I, I'm going to remember as we go on with the months, but if you have a tricky last name, oh my gosh, this helps me so much to include a little uh, pronunciation key so that I don't mess it up. I really hate 
uh, the idea that I'm mispronouncing anyone's name. So if you want to give me a little tip, it is very much appreciated. Julie, beautiful card. Thank you so much. This next one comes from Debbie Reed, and she has used the new Nuts Over Squirrels or About Squirrels. <laughs> this stamp set is just so stinking cute. I love it. Uh, and then she's got some designer paper here from the Beauty of the Earth. Such a fun card and so perfect for fall, Debbie. Oh my gosh, look at this beauty. This one uses the new Peaceful Place designer paper. Look at this fun fold. There's another card that is this same fun fold. I'm not sure what it's called, but I really love it. It's kind of got like a bridge in the front and then a second place that opens up. This one is by April Booth. April, thank you so much for this fun card. I just love it. I gotta definitely have to case this. It looks like it's a regular card front that's cut and then the front pieces are bridged and that piece ends like that. So uh, I'll definitely have to make some measurements and do some casing of that one. This next one is by Laura Weaver and she used the new cute Halloween. Oh my gosh, this paper really is the cutest. Paired with the rectangular stamp punch. There's so much going on. I just love all these cute little critters. And then inside we've got some stamping and punching such a great card Laura thank you so much all right these are not card swaps but look what came back to me oh my gosh I feel so bad I just wanted to point out Debbie Reed you are waiting for a card and Sherry Turner you are as well they were both returned to me because I forgot to put a postage stamp on them which brings me to a little PSA. Um, both of these cards were returned because they didn't have stamps because both of them were custom envelopes. And um, I, I feel like I'm such a Scrooge here. But I'm going to have to ask you guys a favor because when I'm sorting the cards, it's so much easier if I just provide all the envelopes. Somehow, like these cards that um, that have special envelopes, they miss the postage because it just wasn't part of the regular, um, the regular system. So I'm going to ask moving forward, please don't include a special envelope with your card. I, I saw that a few times and then I feel like this month there were even more cards that had special envelopes and I love stamping on envelopes and dressing them up and making them coordinate with the card. But for the swapping, it really does add like some extra work and I have to like sort the labels and then I miss putting stamps on them. Ooh. <laughs> so moving forward, please don't include an envelope. I know you guys love to have a coordinating envelope, but it just makes more work for me. And when there's hundreds of cards to go through, um, that little extra thing just makes it easier for things to fall through the crack, like missing postage stamps. So no more. I'm sorry. Just just your beautiful card. That's it. And we'll put it in an envelope to send it um, to send it back to the next person. Oh my gosh, look at this beauty. This came from Cindy Curry and it was in a bubble mailer. And I have to say, Cindy, you didn't include any return postage, but the thickness of this card would cost $4 to mail it. I'm sure that's what you paid, Cindy. So you're going to have to leave a comment or send me a message. I'm not sure what you want me to do since there was no postage to send it on. But check out this this amazing bow. First of all, great idea to send it in this package so that it doesn't get squashed because this is so much fun. This, it looks like several different ovals that are folded over to make this big, beautiful bow using the peach. And she's got two different cards in here so you can write a message and then include an extra card for the next person to write a message and send it on. Like, it's such a great idea, Cindy. She says, the idea for this came from YouTube from a stamper in the UK. Her name is Jan. B card number 596 faux bow or rosette so Cindy thank you so much for sharing this beautiful card and definitely get in touch with me and let me know how you want me to handle swapping this out to the next person all right let's go on you know that peach paper is so beautiful there were quite a few cards that use this new sweet as a peach designer paper from the annual catalog so I did like I said I tried to group these by designer paper but there's a whole bunch that are just miscellaneous paper. So we've got lots of variety in this swap. This one is to a sweet friend. Thanks for being as sweet as a peach. I love the inside being decorated too. This card is by Cherry Razar. Am I saying that right, Cherry? Let me know if I'm not. Cherry Razar. I just love the colors here. Calypso Coral, Bal balmy blue and old olive. Very similar colors here. This is a gatefold card from Annette Crochetti. 
Yep, I got it right. Cute envelope to match. I will do my best to make sure that it gets sent on in the envelope. Um, but next time, we'll skip the envelope and just focus on your beautiful cards. Here's another one with a cute envelope. Lynn Werner sent this one. And this is, oh, this is like that peaceful cabin one. This is so much fun. So we've got the front that's cut apart and then bridged together. This is the uh, Sweet as a Peach designer paper. And then I was... I'm trying to recognize, is this the, the peach stamp set as well? It does have flowers in it. I'm not sure if it's the peach one. There's so many flower sets, right? <laughs> you are amazing. This card is amazing, Lynn. Thank you so much for your beautiful card and sending in a swap. This next one is by Debbie Reed, and she uses these great peaches. I love that this stamp set has this leaf set and then you can use either the flowers or the peaches or both of them together. I love how Debbie did that. Love this designer paper. The colors are so pretty. Pale papaya for the card base. This card base is pretty, um, no, not pretty, petal pink, which also really coordinates with these watercolor um, images. I love that you can pull so many different colors from that. This card is one of those... Um, like a uh, vertical easel card, right? So it has an element that um, that comes underneath here and that kind of holds it out. So it sits up on your desk and it's so wonderful to display. Hope your day is as sweet as a peach. Jean Hoffman sent this one in. Jean, thank you for that awesome card. I didn't even realize until I was opening it how it stands up like that. That's so clever. This next card has some fun folds going on too. This one's by Jo Williams, and she's also used the Sweet as a Peach paper. And I was trying to figure out if this one, I don't see like a place for it to, to stand up. So maybe I'm missing something, or maybe it just folds open like that, and then you can see all the awesome stuff inside. Really, Jo went all out on decorating the inside. We've got gems and ribbon and more designer paper inside. Wishing you a happy birthday, this is so sweet, Joe. just like you, sweet as a peach. This next card is from Sandy Allman. Sandy is from Canada, and this is such a fun card. I'm so happy that she sent this in. This is one of those M fold cards, and we just have lots of layers and lots of places to show off the beautiful designer paper. Let's celebrate you with a space in the middle to write your message. It's your day. So here's an example of we put our note on the inside on a post-it note or a loose note, something like that, so that whoever gets the card can reuse it. Feel free to put your regular maker marking on the back. I definitely want you guys to take credit for your beautiful work. This little belly band holds the card together and adds a nice decorative touch. Oh my goodness. We're just getting started. There are so many beautiful cards this month. Okay, this next one, I thought there was a lot of peaches, but there is even more of this pattern paper. This is the host paper from the annual catalog. It's called Pattern Party. And there are like 24 different patterns, 12 double-sided, I think. And you get four sheets of each. It's a huge package of paper. You can choose it free with your host rewards when you order $150 or more. Then you also get celebration gifts on top of that. Woohoo! By the way, if you ever have an order that's over 150 for the online store, do not use the host code so that you can keep the host rewards and redeem for stuff like this awesome pattern party designer paper pack. This first card comes from Deidre Riley, and she used the designer paper to make a pinwheel. This is so much fun. So it's a square of paper, and she cut uh, diagonally from each corner to the center and then folded over a bit and added another circle in the center for the pinwheel. And we all love the decorated inside. This is so, so sweet. Next card is, oh my gosh, I love this. Maya Galantine, you're amazing. Okay, check out this note. She says, I really enjoyed the great big card swap. I loved all the cards from the other stampers. They were beautiful. It's so true, they were. She says, my husband and children thought I was a celebrity when you showed my card on your YouTube channel. Thank you for giving me and other stampers opportunity to show our creativities. That just made me so happy, Maya. 
I'm so excited that you felt like a celebrity. This card, seriously, is amazing. Are you guys ready for this? We're going to open it up and check out. Whoa! We have this huge designer paper explosion. This is a six by six designer paper piece that is scored in half at three inches each direction and then once diagonally. And then you just fold on that diagonal to sort of collapse the designer paper. So you've got it glued on either side and then this part kind of collapses. And oh my gosh, what a fun fold and a, what a fun surprise. She's using two different designer papers from this pattern party pack and that cute little birthday chick. Oh my gosh, he, he still is my favorite. Here's another one, clean and simple. I just love this. And pink and black is such a classic combination. Nancy Ross sent in this card. It says, you're the best on the inside. And it's got a sweet little bow, both pink and black. I love it. This little cheetah pattern is from that pattern party. You can see there are just so many patterns in this paper pack, like really versatile for so many different stamp sets. This one is by Lori Hulbert, and she coordinated the designer paper with the pierced blooms dies. This is just so colorful. It makes me so happy. Happy birthday. And then we've got Poppy Parade, Bumblebee, and Flirty Flamingo. This card is just like sunshine all right there in one card oh this fell out let's see who's this one from this one is from denise dornbush and she sent one for me too it tickles me so much when you guys send me an extra card so that i can keep it because i really want to keep them all <laughs> that's not how this works but denise sent me two so i can keep one of her card check out this double z fold card we've got this detailed die with the hugs the, the background designer paper is from the pattern party pattern it, and I love the little note she put inside. I didn't sign this card before sending it off to you. Instead, it holds my warmest thoughts, invisible but true. So if you find you need to brighten someone's day, take this card and sign it and send it on its way. I love to be able to put that inside card. So if you don't want to send cards that you send to friends and family, you could also leave it blank and include a note like that so they know they can send it on and brighten someone else's day. Hello, friends. This is such a fun card and also one that I got to keep. Thank you so much, Judith Judith Rodriguez. I love the combination of black and white with a pop of color, old olive, rich raspberry, and blackberry bliss. And of course, my favorite biggest wish stamp set, Hello Friend. This one just makes me so happy. I love black and white with a pop of color. And this pop of color is three colors, but I think it still counts as a pop of color. This is a designer paper card base, like one whole six, well, let's see, four inches by 12 inches of designer paper folded in half so that you see both the outside and the inside pattern. This is such a clever card. Michelle Wolf designed. Love the bright colors in the front with the color and contour stamp set. Happy birthday to you, Michelle. Thank you so much for this fun card. My birthday was last month, as you guys know. And so every time I see a birthday card now, I'm just like, oh, it's for me. But this one's not. This is for one of you. <laughs> one of you will get one of these cards back. If you sent one in, you will get one back. All right, this is a fun little corner pocket card. This one is by Cheryl McLean. And I love the little card that opens up inside. So here we've got the designer paper, kind of mini designer paper card base with a piece inside to stamp on. And she has a similar message inside. I didn't sign this card before I sent it off to you. So you can include that in your card when you send it. Oh, Oh, that just came apart. I might have to add some extra glue to that. So we've got the um, the four by five and a quarter, four and a quarter by five and a half card base with a corner pocket and then the little mini card fits right inside. So awesome. Oh my gosh, this one is from Tony Shaw and this one is so fun. Again, this is that pattern party designer paper and you open it up and there's another side and it's got this whole accordion and then she's got punched hearts inside. It's your day, celebrate, happy anniversary. Oh my gosh, this is just so much fun. I cannot wait to case this. In fact, when mom was here, Tony, your card came early, you know, so she already did case it. I'm trying to find her card. I had it out on my, um, I had it out and I think I, I cleared it away for something. Anyway, mom was so inspired by you that she created one as well with the, the um, stitch blooms. I'll have to share it whenever I find it. Um, 
but I love it. I can't wait to case this too, Tony. Thank you so much for sharing your awesome, awesome card. Here's one by Kathy Barnes, and this one is by Kathy Barnes too. I love doing this. I love creating like the same card in different colors. We've got the same designer paper pack, but it's like totally different looks because they're different colors and different patterns. This is the book binding card. So we've got the, the side here, like it's glued down and then like only the front part opens. So such a fun card. This is, oh, I don't remember the name of that stamp set with the, it's got like a turtle on his back and, um, and the zebra tied in a knot. And then there's like a, a sloth or something with a um a wrap around his arm or something oh there's the turtle right there <laughs> such fun cards with this paper I love it Kathy thank you so much for sending those in so that may brings me to a little point if you want you can send more than one card in for the great big card swap the cards should be different so that there's a variety when we show them in the showcase and you will get one card back for every card that you sent in so I think Kathy actually sent in three cards so she'll get three cards back in return. Each one should be sent separately. You can send them all together in one package, but the thickness will probably make it kind of expensive. So I think the cheapest way is to send them all individually. And you'll want to make sure also to include a return postage stamp for each of the cards that you send. All right. Our next card uses some more paper from, um, this must go inside here. Some more paper from the annual catalog. This is the In the Wild designer paper, and it is by Donna Debert. And she's used the rectangle framelits to kind of create, like, I love this little, like, the scene here. And this one is a window. And so the designer paper you see here also peeks a boo inside. So she's got the whole piece glued to the inside, but you can see through the window the front side of that. I thought that was so clever. And I love the designs here. Like even though you've got some of the animal print, I think this is, doesn't scream, you know, tigers and wildcats. Love the little plants there. And then the little touches inside. Donna, thank you so much for sending that fun card. All right, the next couple use paper from the Beauty of the Earth suite in the annual catalog. And this, again, can be mixed and matched. Here's one. This is really simple. These pieces of designer paper and then fold it back so you can see the other sides. I love showcasing both sides because it's so hard sometimes to glue paper down. You just want to show both sides. How do you decide which one to keep up and which one to put down? This one is by Lori Sorrells. And she has a little supply list. I love that when you guys include that on the back. Certainly not necessary, but if you want to let others know what you've used, you can include that uh, inside the note on your card. So this is Beauty of the Earth designer paper, cinnamon cider, cardstock, and then the, the, the sentiment is from the color and contour stamp set. This card's by Debbie Reed, and she has paired the Beauty of the Earth designer paper with the new In the Woods stamp. This is a distinctive stamp, and oh my gosh, the detail on here is so beautiful. Debbie's done a little blending in the background to add some color for the sky and the grass, and then, oh my gosh, I forgot the name of this stamp set that has some different animals in it. It was in the mini catalog, and then it carried over. Really great one. I think it's got like a deer and a bunny and the fox. So love pairing here. And she did some masking where she stamped and then put like a post-it over that image and then stamped the trees in the background. So it looks like the fox is in the foreground. That's a really fun technique. All right. Speaking of fun technique, look at this fun fold card. This one is by Debbie Bas Basel. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie, for including the pronunciation key. This is how she spelled it out in her note. Uh, ba, like lamb. Ba, like a lamb or a sheep. Ba, and then sell. Ba, sell. Um, that I definitely pronounced it wrong last time and I apologize for that. So thank you, Debbie, for including, um, that little key. Um, and then I just love this designer paper and this is fun to have it on the inside. I made a similar card that I shared in a, um, a Sunday stamping video and I didn't include the designer paper here, but I really love that addition. It really fills out the card and completes the scene. And this paper is one of my favorites in that paper pack. Okay, moving on, our next few cards use the pansy paper from the annual catalog. Here's a tuck fold card. I think I shared one like this recently in another Sunday stamping video. So it's got a panel here and then this other one that tucks underneath the tag. So this piece wraps around the inside white piece. So it's glued down and adhered there. Happiest of birthdays to you. Oh my gosh, this card is just so 
fun and happy. Thank you so much, Shirley Monkman, for sending this card in. Our next card uses the same designer paper. This one is by Marilyn Kane, and she incorporated some of the fussy cut flowers from that designer paper, as well as a die cut of the um, butterfly. And then on the inside, we have another strip and some more die cut flowers. Beautiful card. This designer paper just makes it so easy to make happy cards. Speaking of happy, I love this happy card. This one is by Nancy Shower. And if I'm not saying that right, Nancy, let me know. <laughs> uh, I, I'm i thinking like Lauer Shower. Um, if I if I messed it up, let me let me know. Oh, I feel so much the anxiety when I'm doing these showcase videos because I don't want to mess your names up. Love the really clean and simple card here. Pale papaya for the base, some fresh freesia there with the happy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, more cards. These next two are from the Sweet Symmetry card pack. And I love this paper because the patterns are really small and the colors are bright. So I just feel like it makes it really easy to incorporate some happy, happy colors, happy cards. This one came from Kathy Bradley. And this is one of the ones that was marked July, but it just came like this week. So um, I'm sorry that it didn't make it in the July swap, but it does use designer paper. So it fits the theme perfectly. Kathy, thank you so much for sending that in. Here's another one using the Sweet Symmetry paper. Love and laughter forever after. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my dogs today. Uh, Erica Burgess uh, sent in this one and I love that she added that stamped image on the inside. Sweet Symmetry and In Symmetry. Um, I forget which is which. The Sweet... Oh, whatever. <laughs> well, they're always named really similarly and it's hard to keep them straight. Which one is in symmetry and which one is sweet symmetry anyway our next one is the tidings of christmas designer paper and we've got two cards this one is by kathy smith and this is a really fun technique she's got a piece of acetate that is um in die cut into this shape of a circle or an ornament and then she has glued the strips across so you can kind of see like um it's it's really cool to be able to see through it, but then still have like the designer paper. So I thought this was so clever and just so detailed and amazing with the coordinating envelope. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it so much, Kathy. Good job. Uh, this next card is also super fun using that Christmas tidings designer paper. We've got a great layout here on the front showcasing lots of designer paper, but look at the inside. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is like the one that Beth Bryce sent in last month. It was a birthday theme and I actually just cut myself some cardstock like so that I can make one so you start off with like a cardstock like this that has like a mountain and then you add the strips on the side and you put them like in opposite ways so that it has this fun fun kind of pop-up inside this is such a great card and Derek thank you so much um yeah she says she was inspired by I think mom did this in the Sunday video what did she to I'm trying to remember which week that was but mom did case Beth's card it was like right after we showed Beth's card to the peaches no maybe oh I don't know <laughs> My brain is mush. Such a beautiful card. And thank you so much for sending that in. Look at all the cards we still have to go. I better speed up so I can eat some dinner before my next thing. All right. Our next couple cards are using the Bloom Where You're Planted designer paper. This is such an amazing scene. We've got like a little window sill here from the welcoming window. And then I love these stitched border dies to create the curtains. This is just such a fun card by Carmen Melendez. Carmen, thank you so much for sending this in. I always enjoy your cards so much. Here's another one with a fun scene. This is Fussy Cut designer paper from the Bloom Where You're Planted. This one is by Barb Apke. And then we've got the designer paper inside. So she's got like a little uh, bit of the card base and then the paper so you can see both sides. You can see both the front and the inside and show off that beautiful pattern. Barb, thank you so much for sending that card in. Our next set of cards, or I guess there's just two of them, use the Impressions in Ink designer paper. This is the one that has the gold foil accents and the beautiful um, alcohol sort of like um, ink designs. Look at this one. Isn't this a fun little pinwheel card? This one is by Eva White and it folds flat. So it fits in an envelope for mailing, but then you have like 
these different dimensions, these different sides to it. And so you can show off different images and different messages. I'm going to have to give this a try, Eva. Thank you so much for the inspiration. Here's another one that uses the same designer paper. This one is by Rose Reddy, and she used the designer paper, and it has this white space up there, which I just love. So you can use the whole piece of designer paper to cover the front, and then she added the sentiment and the flowers. This stamp set that coordinates with the designer paper has the same sort of like alcohol um, ink kind of technique to it. So I think it's really beautiful and so much fun. Thank you so much, Rose, for your beautiful card. All right. Oh my gosh. I love, this is one of my favorite designer papers. This is the, oh my gosh, I just had, oh my gosh, what is the name of that paper? I just like, it left my head. <laughs> I'm really having a moment. I'm going to have to look it up because it went right out and is not coming back. You guys are probably screaming it at home. You're like, well, I know what it is. <laughs> Um, hand penned, of course. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Hand penned. And I think with all the cards that we probably have every single pattern from this paper pack, uh, represented right here. This paper is so beautiful with the soft florals. Here's a fun card that shows off strips on the side. So this is glued to the inside panel, but I just love that like motion, you know, with the different angles. And I love that just half the card opens there. This one is by Jenny Oliver. And it's so, so pretty with the blushing bride um, being the main color and then the designer paper in there. This one is really cool with this fold. This is a designer paper fold. This one is by Elaine Curry. And we've got this like, um, kind of it's a gatefold, but it kind of like folds in and the whole thing folds out. So this is like a whole sheet of designer paper. She's calling it a double gatefold card. And she oh, got a great supply list here, the hand penned petals um, and the dies, the stamp set and the dies, and then the stitch square dies. And then the colors pale papaya, garden green with a little bit of those in color gems. Oh my gosh, so fun. I'm definitely gonna have to write down the measurements in case this. It looks like she's cut the front off and then just glued that reverse side down here. So this is actually not folded. It's just the piece of paper. I love like reusing that little piece and creating the angle here. So clever. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I, I don't think you can make a bad card with this designer paper. Well, I mean, I none of these cards are bad. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying these cards, this designer paper, like I, I don't think you can go wrong with this designer paper. This card is by Samantha Ta. I love her panels here showing off different patterns of the monochromatic B side of the hand penned designer paper. And then there's that hand penned petals with the embossed vellum in the background. Thanks. And then on the inside, we have a little bit more of those paper pieces. I love how you just reused that little bit down there to carry it over. Such a beautiful card, Samantha. Oh, look at this one. I'm trying to think which way this goes. I think it goes this way. I think it's vertical, although it also very easily could be a horizontal card. This one is by Debbie Lindauer, and she has just got all kinds of layers going on here with three different patterns from that paper, and then the hand pen floral um, stamp set. Just so beautiful. So beautiful. You guys got so creative with your cards. Here's one by Deb Rupp, and she, let me take her paper out so you can kind of get a full idea of the card. So we've got another one of these like with a double panel. So it folds out this way and out this way. And we've got all the designer paper on the inside. You can write your message right in here. Oh my gosh, these layers and that shimmer. Can you see the shimmer vellum? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. She's got a little note in here too. So I love that you guys can like, you can meet people, right? And, and have pen pals if you'd like with a great big card swap when you get your card back. All right, this next one is by Cindy Miller. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful card with the layers of the designer paper. I love these big sequins in here. What's she got inside? Another little note. So you can write as much or as little if you want. If you just want to say hello and, you know, have a great day, you can. If you want to write a little bit about yourself and share, then you can you can write that. You can write a whole letter if you want. The one thing I do ask when you're um, writing notes or including stuff is um, not to have any kind of solicitation. So please refrain from business cards. If you send business cards that have like your business web address or Etsy store or something like that, I'm just 
going to take it out. I won't include it because I don't want the swap to be about soliciting people. Like I just want it to be clean and simple, just straight up swapping cards, swapping ideas and sharing stamping inspiration. Here is a beautiful card. This is another designer paper card base. So the whole thing is designer paper. So you can see the front paper and the back side or the inside of the card here. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's so clean and simple, but just beautiful. Letting the designer paper do all the singing. Love this stitch label with the stamp on there. Who is this from? Joanne Prosser. Oh my gosh, I love the coordinating envelope. I do so much. But just a reminder, we're, we're gonna try to just skip the cute envelopes so that it's easier for me to get things sorted out. Oh, I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Joanne, let me go back in here so I don't lose the envelope that goes with that card. Oh, wow. This is a treat. This card is by Becky Sloshnagel. And she has even included, I'm going to open it up and show you here. So if you want to try to do a screenshot, she says, this is by Paper Pixie and she has the, the scoring measurements. So it's like a square of paper and then some diagonal scores and some vertical scores. And then check this out. Oh my gosh. I feel like I don't even know how to open it. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so fun. Fun. Does this one? Yep, there we go. It pulls out. So you've got um, like a, a card that pulls out here and then you can open it up and the gift card goes there. So it's like it's got this 3D triple pocket. <laughs> like, wow. I don't even know what you call this card. I call it cool. <laughs> Does she have a name on here? Um, I don't know. She just says paper, paper pixie. This is so much fun. I will include this um, this template when I send the card. So whoever gets that is going to get the template to be able to remake that. I might have to make a copy of it or look it up before I send that off. Okay, I've got to move some of these piles because I'm going to start falling over here. Okay, our next few cards... Oh my gosh, I love this. This would work for next month's theme of fall as well. This is retired designer paper, but one of my favorite from the last catalog. Can't remember what the name is, Sharon Roland, but um, just love it. You can punch from the paper, which is what Sharon has done here with the acorn and the leaves. Um, beautiful autumn, like sticks in my head, but I'm not even gonna try to guess. I'm not even gonna try to guess these retired designer papers. This one, I totally remember, but I mean, it's a long time ago. We're talking probably eight years, 10 years, 13 years. Um, it might have been called Baroque something, but I remember this color Baja, Pre Baja Breeze, which is now retired, was one of my favorite colors. My old stamp room at the old house was painted this color. This one is by Trina Hillegas, and she's got a lot of designer paper she's using up. And in fact, she sent more than one card. I think this is the next one. Um, oh my gosh, do you remember this paper? Oh, the, this color, Limeade, Lucky Limeade, was it? And then, um, oh my gosh, what was this? Rose Red, maybe? It's been so, it's been so long. No, the uh, Pomegranates? Oh my gosh. I can't even remember. Trina, you might know. I don't think you said in your, um... oh, look at that. She did. Pretty in pink for the card base. Raspberry Tart is the designer paper from 2009. See, I was right. Let's see. It's been 12 years. Hello, you dies. Butterfly duet punch. She didn't say the colors, but well, the cardstock base. Oh my gosh. What a blast from the past. I bet this one has a note in it too with the Baja Breeze. See, I was right. Parisian Breeze is the designer paper also from 2009. I'm impressed that you know uh, the years of these designer papers. You must be really organized in your stamp room, Trina. Oh my gosh, love the cards, so beautiful. Thank you so much, Trina, for sending those in. Carol Hafner created the next card. She says, this is called a swing fold. So you have, it sort of swings out. It's like a Z fold with um, like a partial cut of the half and then the the label kind of glued on both sides. Happy birthday. This paper is not as old as the paper Trina used. Really pretty. I forgot the name of it, so I'm not even gonna guess. <laughs> 
Carol, thank you for that great card. Okay, I'm gonna take a whole stack and let's plow through these. Oh, this is a fun card. And I recognize there's not much of the paper to look at it, but I do recognize this paper and it's from like 15 years ago. Like I, I can visualize it in my head. I have no idea what it was called, but I do remember like scrapbooking with it. I remember making some pages for Claire, who's now 16. So this is a fun blast from the past. This is kind of like an eclipse card with the die cut letters that are then on the the Stampin' Dimensionals. Hello, friend, sent by Lou Bennett. Lou, thank you so much for that fun card. Here's another blast from the past of the succulent paper. This one actually might be from a paper pumpkin kit. Be kinder to yourself and let your kindness flood the world. This one is by Cindy Benner. Cindy, thank you so much for this beautiful card. Blackberry Bliss and then Crumb Cake and Basic Black. Check out this one. This is by Tori Strolly, and I love the look of this ripped designer paper. What a great way to show off lots of paper patterns from one pack. This is the Hydrangea Hill that just retired um, and I just love these purples. Purple Posy is the card base and Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape are the purples. Oh my gosh, so pretty. <gasps> I'm gonna sing. Are you guys ready? <laughs> I haven't made a card like this in a long time. But Priscilla Krolikowski sent in this card and she put a note in and said, I hope you know how to open it. And Priscilla, yes, I do. This is called a never ending card. And this is how it works. I might have to sing. It's the card that never ends. Oh, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started folding it not knowing what it was. And they'll keep folding forever because it's the card that never ends. Are you guys catching that? So basically, you have these card pieces that are folded. There's four of them. There's these two on the back that are half a card fat wise and these two on the front that are half the card skinny wise and then they are connected only in the corners okay so this corner this corner this corner and this corner and so then you open it and it is like hinging on the score lines and then it hinges again on the score lines and it just keeps going it's the card that never ends oh my gosh thank you so much for this blast from the past priscilla i love it and i think i'm gonna have to try and make another card that never ends so <laughs> remind me if i forget we'll do another video i haven't done one with these dimensions that turn out to be a full card i always did like a square and it was really easy because it was like a four by four square and then the panels were two inches and there wasn't like a fat and a skinny because they were like the same size but anyway this is such a great card i love it i hope you guys at home enjoyed it as well Oh, next card. This one pops so much. These are retired Seaside Spray and Rococo Rose. They just recently retired. Beautiful in colors. And I love the way that the background car like pops with the white butterflies. This one is by Anne Rebadu, and it just made, it made my day. It really did. It was so just sunshine and cheerful. Here's one with black and white. I love black and white. It's just so classic. We've got an embossed background with the um, die cut flower and then like pieced back in the designer paper from another designer paper, like she cut with white and she cut with the designer paper and then she put like the inside back in. Uh, and probably did the opposite the other way as well. This card is by Antoinette Sneed, Tony Lee, as she's known online. Tony, what a great card. I love it. Oh, this just makes my heart happy. This is retired paper. I can't remember. Plaid, plaid something, plaid tidings, plaid. Um, it was all about plaid. So the designer paper just had tons and tons of different plaid designs. And this just screams like sweaters and cocoa and fall, like cider. It makes me so happy. Joan Talent made this one. And I feel like there's something inside. Oh, just a little. Look at that plaid tidings. Oh my gosh. I think I got it right. Isn't that what I said? Did I say plaid tidings? I think I was thinking it. Anyway, <laughs> a little designer paper on the inside there. Such a great card, Joan. Thank you so much. Look at this one. This is so happy and fun. We have some punched vellum with the leaves and then the flowers. I just love all the little gems and the butterfly. So many little things going on. It makes me so happy. Grateful for you and my story.
stamps. It's so true. Mary Fudge sent this one in. What a great card, Mary. I love it. This is the just retired designer paper from last year. Oh, it like went in my head and right out. Um, I can see it. I can see it in my head. I don't remember the name. Um, I also don't remember the name of this one, but this designer paper was in the last celebration brochure and I love the black designs. Um, all the papers had like, uh, instead of white, they had like black, black lines, black background. And it just was so striking. And this card is so striking. No matter the weather, we're friends forever. I love the glitter ribbon in there too. And the decorated inside. This one is by Christy Redding. And she said in her note, this is her first swap. Yay! Christy, I'm so glad that you were joining us. And she said she wanted to use some retired designer papers so that we'd have lots of variety to look at. So Christy, thank you so much for sending in the card. I'm so glad that you were participating. I know that so many of you are first time swappers and many of you did not write that in your in your card but I know that you are first time swappers and so I just want to say welcome and I'm so happy that you are um, swapping with us this card is from Jill Linden Steele and she made one for me too I love it so much Jill and it made me so happy in fact I've got hers sitting right here ah! I covered the wrong thing. I love the black envelope. I thought that was so unusual and so striking. So she's got a yellow envelope here. Um, and no, I was going to say she made her own envelopes, but I don't, I don't think she did. I think they were just envelopes um, that were pre-made. What a great card. I love the stripes of paper. You can do that with any designer paper and really kind of show off some, some fun designer paper techniques. Here's another one with some angled black glitter paper. Get your happy on. This one is by Jerry Stringer. And I do remember this designer paper. I have no idea what it was called, but the pink is strawberry slush. Do you guys remember that in color? Oh, I love that you guys are using up your stash of retired paper. You definitely do not need to use current stuff when you're sending in for the great big card swap. But you may be wondering, and so I will let you know, if you send in a card that has re retired designer paper, then I will group it and swap it back with other cards that have retired designer paper. So if you send in a card that uses new designer paper or current designer paper, you'll get a card back that also has current paper and current products. I want to make sure that people get back what they send in. And so if you send something that's not Stampin' Up, I'll swap it out with somebody else who sends not Stampin' Up and it'll be fantastic. So love all these cards. Do not let anything keep you from sending in a card. I want to see everything that you make. So don't hesitate at all. Here's a great card from Jerry Stringer, another one. And she's using the Dragonfly Garden designer paper. I recognize this ribbon. It's been a while too, that garden green ribbon. And just love the layout here, the designer paper with a strip across and then the elements in the center. Such a great design. And then we've got the um, paper on the inside too. I love it when you guys add stuff inside. Here's a card by Marty Funky. And she made sure to let me know that the E was pronounced. So thank you for your pronunciation tips. I love this posies. The, um, Pretty po what is it called? Posy po posy petals. There was like a, an um, ephemera pack that had the die cut um, elements, including this circle. So really fun black and white and poppy parade is such a, a fun combination. This card is by Lynn Werner, and she's used some um, retired designer paper. Um, some world maybe she's got a note in here. Nope, she just has a note. Um, oh beautiful world or something like that. I, I just love the Z folds. Like we got a little Z fold and then she's just added the designer paper. So there's just so many things to look at. So many elements. This is such a great masculine card. I think sometimes we really struggle to make masculine cards. She's got a little bit of that designer paper on the inside envelope as well. That's a great way to um, coordinate your envelope. You make the world a better place. Oh my gosh. You do make the world a better place, Lynn. Thank you for being part of our world. We still have some more cards to go, so let's keep digging in the box. I did not get a count before we started, so I'm not sure how many cards are here, but I have to guess it's close to 100. I hope you're enjoying all the cards. Be sure to leave a comment and let us know which one is your favorite or what you are inspired by. Here's one by Evelyn Boswell. I was reading it 
wrong. I think I got it right. Evelyn. <laughs> uh, Daisy Lane designer paper. This is some old paper, but so pretty with the Pacific Point cardstock. It's such a classic combination of blue and yellow with the daisies. I really love having a sharp blue like this. Next card is from Missy Hillman using the uh, Butterfly Bijou designer paper and coordinating d dies. <laughs> I love the die cut paper with the black behind it to make them pop. Really beautiful card, Missy. Thank you so much. Here's one by Patsy Marshall, and she has... Feel like it's sticking there we go um like a little m fold right um or accordion cold i'm like i'm not sure what you call it i've heard some people call it an m fold because when you pull it out it looks like an m this paper is the punch party um paper that was available in the springtime was it this year or last year um it was was it a cel no it wasn't a celebration paper i think it was no it was a celebration paper oh my goodness uh it wasn't this year it was the spring before that i think a celebration paper and it had a coordinating small blossom punch this is such a fun card with the colors and an easy fold you can do this designer paper card base like this with any any paper oh this was a favorite paper look at you guys using up your berry paper oh my gosh this was a favorite it was from celebration um recently this year last year this first card is by patty barnes and she die cut or punched rather the strawberry from the designer paper and then used some for the background a little stamping inside that was so sweet of you this is such a sweet card patty thank you next card is by mary fudge and i love this strip of rhinestone like that is so fun a little fussy cut strawberry here with the layers i couldn't have picked a sweeter friend i think you are wonderful Oh, I love that. I think you're wonderful too, Mary. Thank you. Here's another card by Debbie Reed. And she's got the uh, strawberry designer paper, which is retired, but the strawberry stamp set is still current. So if you did not get that strawberry stamp set and the punch sweet strawberry, you can still get those. They're still available and you can create a beautiful card like this one. Uh, this designer paper is the same. This one is by Norma Norma Gallardo and I was trying to think of it open I think this just center is on stamp a dimensional so it kind of pops out a little bit there happy birthday what a sweet card Norma thank you so much for sending that and this might have been one of the birthday cards that came late um I think I'm looking I thought she had a July note in there yeah oh my gosh she dated it July 5th but I think it took a long time to get to me because I just recently received that one um no, maybe I got it. This one might have come later. In, I don't. I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. This one is by Webra Price Douglas, and she's got what the feels. Oh my gosh! <gasps> wow! Oh my gosh! You guys ready? <gasps> Boop! What? <laughs> oh my gosh! This I don't even know what you call this. Pop and fold card i just want to like keep opening it check out those mechanics i i this has been like on my pinterest board for a couple years and i keep meaning to figure it out and make one but i haven't yet so i'm inspired webra this is such an amazing card thank you so much for sending that she's got a little note inside about um how it is such an important thing to send cards and reach out to others. So thank you for that reminder, Webra, and that beautiful card. Oh my gosh. She's got another one. Let me pull it out really quick. I think this might be the same fun fold. This is also from Webra. Price Douglas. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. So two of you are going to get this amazing pop-up card. I love it. So I, I love how, too, this shows that you can use different designer paper and create amazing things with um, the same, you know, the same layout. And it's like a totally different look with different colors and different designer paper. Oh, this is a fun card. This one is by Beth Bryce. She's always doing fun things. Beth, you're amazing. Uh, this is, it's got a belly band. Oh, I got to I gotta release the belly bands. Um, and then it, the this kind of folds folds out like an extended little accordion. That one's so fun. Thought of you today. And that folds back on to hold it in place. Such a great card, Beth. And look at that handmade envelope with the designer paper to go with it. You really went all out, Beth. Such an amazing card. Thank you for sending that in. Check out this cutie. Oh my gosh. Do you celebrate your dog's birthdays? 
one year, well, our dogs, we're not really sure, they're rescues, but um, some kind of paperwork had uh, a birthday on it like a birthday and it was the same day as my birthday and so like the first year we had the dogs they celebrated the dog's birthday and like totally forgot about my birthday <laughs> so um, my kids would love this card my dogs would love this card I just love it happy birthday uh, may your day be filled with lots of treats birthday wishes and puppy dog kisses oh my gosh it's so cute Pam Novak I love it this looks like Bermuda Bay designer paper but the rest of it is not stamping up and that's okay I know so many of you watching at home don't use Stampin' Up! product exclusively, so that's okay. I want you to send in your cards, whether you're using Stampin' Up! or not. We want to see the amazing things you're doing. This next card is from Teresa Tucker, and she turned a treat bag into a card. I love it. This is what gave it away to me. Uh, you can see she kind of cut that apart, and then look at this little window. You can see through the vellum this the sentiment that's actually stamped inside. Isn't that clever? A little bit of our brushed metallic paper here uh, with heartfelt sympathy. This is such a great card, Teresa. Thank you so much for participating in the great big card swap. Today's plan, consume coffee chocolate and cookies this is kind of a fun one that has like it's a gate fold and then it has those strips that open on opposite ends so sort of like the one that folds like that on the inside but this is on the outside this one is by um amber hatfield and this is her first swap yay amber i'm so glad that you participated in the great big card swap and sent a card in i can't wait to send you one back okay we're getting down to the end and I'm looking at the clock and realizing that I am running out of time. So let's keep going here. Just for you, this one is by Rose Ruddy and she punched the butterfly and then added it to the card over here. That's such a great way to reuse those pieces. I'm enjoying this swap so much. I'm so happy. I love this clean and simple layout. Thank you so much, Rose, for your card. This next one is by my sister, Amy LaCroix Slocum. She sent this one in using the retired Whale of a Time designer paper and that coordinating punch, which you can still get. A little glitter paper here, uh, the little rhinestone eye, and then silver foil for the um for the whale and she did some sponging on top there if you can see that hey there friend such a great card this one also is from amy lacroix loca my sister she used some strips of designer paper do you guys remember this retired one with the kangaroo i cannot remember the name of this paper it was from a few years back but really just colorful and fun and i think this is fussy cut from that designer paper pack love the colors here so much fun Here's one by Rose Ruddy again. Rose, you're sending so many. I love it. She says, I work at a pizza ranch, so I made these cards for my boss. Best pizza ever. <laughs> That's so much fun. Thinking of you. What a great card, Rose. And I love that you personalized it for your, for your pizza ranch family. This next card is by Ellen Arsena, and she is from Canada. So, Ellen, thank you so much for participating in the Great Big Card Swap. If you are in another country outside of the United States, you can participate in the Great Big Card Swap too. I have a PayPal link on my blog. I'll link it into the description of this video, and you can use the PayPal link to pay $5 to purchase three international return postage stamps. So, that'll cover you for three months, and then you can send in cards. I'm not sure what the postage cost is to send it here uh, but the five dollars will cover three months of sending cards home to you and then you can use your paypal the paypal button when you are ready for a refill on your return stamp so i hope that you'll participate even if you live outside of the united states the great big card swap is open up to everybody this should have been in my pile with the pattern party designer paper this is from that host set of paper she's got three different patterns here including the flowers which are colored and the shimmer sparkle ribbon oh my gosh i love the little inside with the flowers oh thank you so much ellen for sending that in i'm gonna stick it over there with the other um pattern party. All right, next card is from JB Lawrence. This is designer paper too that was black and white and she colored it and customized it for her card. What a clever idea to add some of the red glitter inside the center. True Love is the name of that designer paper. Thank you JB for including that note inside and for sending your beautiful card. 
Oh my gosh, check out this one. This is by Carrie Zacharias, and she used that Hydrangea Haven designer paper with the tailored tag punch and created this mosaic design. I just love it so much. The best moments in my life happen with you. What a great sentiment inside and a beautiful card. Carrie, thank you so much for sending that in. Last couple cards here, sending healing hugs. This one is by Diana Barber. Diana, thank you so much for sending your card. Simple design, but you know what? I love simple. This is a really great way to show off designer paper, having three different panels of paper um, and then adding your sentiment and your embellishment on the on the front. Sending healing hugs. That's such a good one to send to. Oh, look at this one. This is by Pat Williams. We've got a belly band and then the gate fold opens up and we've got like, look at this, a layer that opens up on top too. And this is an easel card. Wow. 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 I recognize the color and contour designer paper here. And this is just amazing. All the beautiful layers and designer paper everywhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pat, what an amazing card. I love the pop of yellow too. Oh, we are just, uh, seriously, there's not a bad card. If you send a card in, you are going to be so happy with whatever comes back to you. This one, just because Flowers for Every Season Designer Paper by D. Osborne. This is one of my favorite paper packs from the last catalog. It had just had so many beautiful flowers for every season. <laughs> Um, what do we have here? Uh, Melon Mambo, I think, is the design or the cardstock base and the ribbon. Just because that's so perfect, like for any any occasion. Uh, we've got another card here from Kathy Barnes using the um, Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set and the coordinating designer paper that just retired. Uh, really pretty here. Can you see the shimmer on those die cut and embossed um, seashells? Really really beautiful. Thank you so much, Kathy, for sending that card in. This one is by Alita Williams. And she said in her notes, she said she uh, left it blank so you can add your own sentiment. So I love that idea of, you know, leaving it blank and letting somebody add whatever sentiment they need. So if you need a birthday card, you can add a birthday sentiment. If you need a thinking of you or a get well soon, you can add whatever you need to customize this card. This needle and thread designer paper uh, is retired. I love it though. It's so pretty. So she She's done like a little faux quilting here with the strips of designer paper that are half an inch. I think I did a video on this, how you could just add those in the different directions. Adhesive sheets are your friends for this card that makes it really easy to adhere all the paper down and keep it nice and flat. Beautiful card, Alita. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Okay, our last card is one of those stand up accordion cards. So like it stands up like this, but it folds out. You can add a message inside here. This one is by Kathy Barnes again, and Kathy sent one for me. Yay! <laughs> It always tickles me when you guys include an extra card for me. So thank you so much, Kathy, for sending your card and for sending me an extra. Oh my gosh, we made it through, you guys. I'm so excited. This was just part one of the August great big card swap showcase. So if you would like to have your card featured in the next showcase video, make sure to send it in. I need to receive it by August 26th, which is the date for the next showcase video. That's a Thursday. So make sure to send your cards in now. You can send them to Julie Davison, PO Box 6164, Champaign, Illinois, 61826. Um, the theme for August is still designer paper. The theme for September, if you want to send early, is autumn or fall. All right, guys, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed all these, car these cards. Be sure to leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on the next great big card swap showcase video. See you next time.